subscribers, fans, Ice Daddy here. So in this video, Mi's going to show you how to find the Vex rune. And a bonus is this. I'm also going to show you how to find the Um rune, okay? Remember, in Path of Diablo, which you need to download if you haven't downloaded this yet. This is the new way of playing Diablo 2, okay? And the guy, Green Dude, yeah, he has a patron page. Uh, he's the one behind Path of Diablo. So you guys can support him as well. Fuck it. I'll link his uh, patron page uh, in the comments section of this video, okay? So stay tuned for that. Become a patron of Vice Man as well. If you wish, but yeah, he's gonna show you how to find the um rune and the vex rune. But first off, my boy and I, we was just running tier two. My Javazon can't kill shit there uh, without conviction. And he was a FOH Paladin, Fist of the Heavens, which are now viable, Path of Diablo, they're GG. But anyway, I say. You know, when I play my boys, like, they haven't been like, hey, finders keepers, all right? So, you know, we don't got to think, hey, I grabbed this shit, I don't know, should I give it to my boy? He made the map, this and that. Not that I said that this last map, but I grabbed this shit anyway. Hope you're okay with it, bro. And I'm going to slam this shit. It's actually a nice one. And Dariel's Visage is very nice for Path of Diablo. Because in the tiers um, that you run... There's a uh, ton of poison damage and shit. Alright, like you want your Merc to have maxed out poison rev at the least. And ideally you want your character to as well. Now this character is a little messed up right now. See, I have this nice ring that I generally use, but the problem is my poison rev sucks. So I put on this, uh, this, this wind ring here, and it uh, gives her some poison res. But... <clears throat> Yeah. Very pleased to find Andariel's visage, and I'm about to slam this shit. So, hope for the best for Iceman, alright? Please. Cross your fingers, bruh. That this one doesn't go bye bye. The last one went bye bye. Alright? In Path of Diablo, when you uh, corrupt an item, use a corruption or a bonnet, there's a 25% chance it converts it into just a random rare item of the same type. Which, in almost all cases, you're pissed off when that happens, because you lose the unique. Or the rare, for that matter, converts it to a different rare. 25% chance that'll happen. But, outside of the 25% chance, depending on the item type, there's in addition to that a chance that nothing will happen, but then there's a chance it'll get sockets, if it can have sockets, and up to the max sockets of that item type. So this could get 40s right here. And uh, what most of us want beyond the sockets are... An additional mod and there's a set amount of mods that can be applied to different item types in fact check this out i corrupted this raven frost one of the possibilities with a ring is that it gets 10 percent magic fine not that much magic fine doesn't mean too much to me i might want to trade this i don't know but it's actually a pretty nice raven frost 19 dex and 237 but yeah we's gonna corrupt this shit okay let's hope it doesn't go bye bye Please don't go by, my daddy needs you. Daddy needs you. Oh, fuck. What if it goes bye bye again? Yeah, the last one that I lost, I was a little upset, bro. The fuck? What'd it do? <clears throat> Did it do anything? 30 to strength? 9 to energy? Oh, shit. At least it's still in existence, though. So, in fact, hell, I might. Oh. Look at the res now. Damn, this Merc's a hog now. Look at that, 85 poison res? This Merc is going to be a toad. Hell yeah. He's wearing, uh, oh, that reminds me, I need to slam that Tal's armor. Yeah, I found this Tal armor in the cow level. Speaking of the cow level, we're going to put it up right now. And I'm about to show you how to find the Vex rune and the Um rune, right? So stay tuned. Let's identify this Alibaba. I might give it to my barb. I don't know. I actually converted my barb over to an ethereal throw barb. I'll have to make a video on that. 
Um, totally new skill for Path of Diablo. There are many new skills and new builds. Many, many more builds, bro. But the new Ethereal Throw Barbarian, it has similar to the Fist of the Heavens effect. When it hits the enemy, all of a sudden magic uh, things, you know, pulses, just, just uh, beat the shit out of everything on the screen. Um, so, of course, there's a uh, optimal build around that where you get like 100% Pierce with Warshike and Razor Tail and then a few other item, items that help add to that. But let's ID this Leviathan. I think this goes with like, it can get up to 50 strength, right? Is it like 30 to 50 strength in that range? I know it can get up to 50. It's GG. And I believe uh, it's 15 to 25 damage reduction. So let's see what we roll here. Damn! Holy shit, dude, that's a toad. That's a toad. Damn. Let's hope this doesn't go bye-bye. Let's hope this doesn't go bye-bye. Oh, shit. Damn, I didn't look. Did it add defense? <clears throat> I don't know. But anyway, it's corrupted now. Okay, and maybe we'll corrupt that towel armor, I suppose. Even though he's kind of like it on the Merc, um, but I could put a smoke armor on him and it'd be just as well off. If this gets sockets, I'm probably going to trade it on the trading website. Son of a bitch, it didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't think it did anything. Mm. Yeah, so Ice Daddy, not very lucky with those corruptions there, but at least nothing went bye-bye. Uh, we got a little mod added to the Andy Visage. But this is how you find the Umrun, okay? So, in fact, I'm going to turn on my loot filter. That's really nice having one of those. So here's how you find the Umrun. What Mies was doing the other day is Mies was hitting up the cow, right? Cow level. And Mies was down here. No, no, I, don't want to, I really don't want to mislead you guys, so just a moment. Let's kill a few cows and I'll show you right where Mies was. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh, goodies all over the place. Seven mana, piece of shit. <clears throat> yeah, this loot filter rocks, man. Uh, a lot of folks ask me about it. Go on my Facebook page if you want me to send you a link. But maybe I'll just post it on my Facebook page, the one that I use. But yeah, I was right in this area, bro. And there was a pack of cows, like right here. See, this is how you go to find the Umrun, me thinks. And I killed these bastards. And falls a little Umrun. Yeah, right here. Where'd it go? I don't know where it is. It's not on this character. <clears throat> and look at how the gems show up with my loot filter. And listen. See that? And the burr actually makes a different noise. Well, anything higher than... And ist and beyond makes an interesting noise, a more prominent noise that you can notice. So, but that's how Big Boy found the Umrun. I intend to be running more. Ooh, look at this. Those orbs of corruption, man, are so damn common, it seems. And it's nice how they are. Although, I've had streaks where I didn't find them for a while, and I was out nearly. I think I've been finding them a lot lately because the kill speed with this Javazan, as you can see, she just obliterates cows and anything that's not light immune, basically. So I just have such a high body count with this character that things like that, you just see them more commonly. You know what I mean? Just the probability of things, uh, which is pretty much what everything falls under in Diablo 2. Uh, just kill speed, man. You know, you gotta kill that shit. Uh, one of my boys is rich. Colin. I asked him what he was doing the other day, and he was like, yeah, I'm just counting my runes, man. Counting all my high runes, because he's been running like a hog with his uh, Blades of Ice Assassin. Just doing the tears. I think that's where you got him. See, my Amazon, my Bozon can do the tears, no problem, man. And she soloed tier four as many times as I've had the key. And, uh, and not too long of time, so. But I just got kind of bored with it, and I, and I missed the Javazon. But yeah, I played with my Bozon for a minute today. 
But uh, I think that's where you get the runes, man. You just gotta kill shit like crazy. Just gotta keep killing shit. And we get the runes. We look for the runes so that we can make the GG. And why do we want to make the GG? So we can look for more runes. So that's what it's all about. And that's what he's up to up in here in Path of Diablo. Now let me show you how I found that Vex rune. Oh, look at this. Like a mage plate, bro. A monarch. Anyone need a monarch? <laughs> Three sockets, enhanced defense. Yeah, I had one of these up on a trade website for a while, but just nobody's biting. I think Enigma is a little less common now in Path of Diablo. Because instead of teleport, it offers the warp skill, which has a three second cooldown, I believe. Oh, I think it's a good change overall. <clears throat> You know, because now there's more build diversity and stuff like that. More build options. Uh, not everything has to revolve around Enigma anymore. But here's how you find the Vex rune, okay? So this was a few days ago. Let me show you the Vex rune. Can you hear that noise that it makes when it, when it drops and stuff? And it's all lit up. So here's what I did just the other day. Like two days ago. My last time rune I found. Right over here. I killed these bastards. And boom, Vexrun drops right there. And yeah, I was very pleased with that. I think I just got on that day to play. And uh, I was probably on for like an hour after that. Didn't find shit. But that's how you get the Vexrun, man. Just go kill this motherfucker right here. And he might drop it. <laughs> so keep that in mind. And I normally go running this way as well. Just a bunch of junk. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. That's a toad. Yeah, I like those run walk ones, especially with the Amazon. The fuck? What's up, Eth Warpike? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, this guy is uh, hit me up over this uh, war pike that I just listed on the trade site. Shit, I forgot what I'm asking for. I think it's like a, uh, I think it's a Malroom. He might not be able to join this game. Because it's a hell game. Ice Hog Yi. Eric the Red. Let's see. If, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. <clears throat> but let's see if he... Uh, yeah, I found that Eth Warpike. People are uh, making their whirlwind barbs again in Path of Diablo. Trying to trade for a Malrune now. Alright, looks like I might get a trade in a minute here. We'll see what happens. I wonder if he has a light facet. Sometimes, you know... If it's, uh, you, you get some leverage if you uh, ask what sort of items they have when they're desperate for a certain item. Like, this guy wants that war pike. He's probably damn excited to make his breath of the dying in that hog. So, you might be able to, uh, to upsell the purchase a bit with that. But, yeah, I'll show you that pike. But, yeah, Big Daddy, been playing this game and... <clears throat> I don't know, I got two Zons now, of course. Kind of nuts. The Arcane's Valor. That's what made me decide to make a Java Zon, as I finally found this. I just saw, you know, style points. Yeah, I reached that uh, max attack speed break point with throwing Javelins. She's at 100 right now. I think the max is like 89. I could wear a 10 IS belt and get rid of one of the jewels or something like that, but... I do like having the Max Pierce with Razor Tail. Even Frost. Da -da -da. Good old Cat's Eye. Yeah. And I do have a Wind Force on Switch. I put a few skills into bow points. The problem is I switch and my armor I can't use because the uh, Titans give me strength and stuff and Storm Shield. So it's kind of annoying, but I really haven't been using the bow at all lately. Uh, on Botnet, my Amazon was a hybrid. It would really work alright if I gave this one the Faith Bow. I might do that and mess around some before I respec her, but when I respec her, I think I'm just going to go pure Javazon. 
Uh, yeah, but the skills and synergies, you know, they've been reworked a little bit. See, now Lightning Fury, it only has one synergy, which is really nice. Then you only have to max two skills, and you have your Lightning Fury as powerful as it can be, for your character at least, your character skills. Um, so it works out really well. And then you have more options with their skills, unlike Botnet, where there were like four synergies, and each of them only added 1% light damage. Yeah, this one, there's only one synergy, and it's six. So you actually do more Lightning Fury damage overall than you would in Botnet. But of course, there's the later tiers, there's the endgame stuff, so it's very difficult. I mean, my character doesn't have Infinity, so it's a bitch, man. <clears throat> yeah, she needs to get Infinity, and of course, that doesn't break all the immunities, but at least it'll help even things out a bit. But if you guys will, like this damn video, bruh. Hit that thumbs up button. One times three keys. I'm gonna have to think about this shit. Like the damn video. Become a patron if you want. Here are my patrons. So I appreciate you guys. And if you want to become a patron, click the link in the description below. Peace be with you. Oh, and that uh, three socketed shield. Yeah, it's a hog of a shield. That storm shield. I think uh, Gary hooked me up with that, so damn dude, thank you. That that shield has uh, been really nice having that three socketed storm shield. I decided to take a handout, um, and it's been a hog of a shield. So peace be with you guys.